Hello everyone, once again, John CG is here. In this new tutorial, I will guide you through the process of creating this hair. This is easier and more intuitive than Maya X Gen, in my opinion. With this, it's easier for me to work on stylized hair. Okay, let's go jump right in. Let's install the plugin first. Open Maya and drag the installer into the viewport. It happens when you have already installed the plugin. Click Replace and close Maya. When Maya is open, go to your window, select Settings and Preferences, then Plugin Manager, and search for Ahoge to load the plugin. That's it. This is the model I created previously. Select the hair, go to Modify, and then convert the polygon to Subdivision Option Box. Follow my settings, then convert from Subd to NURBS. Isolate. Assign material and select the entire group, group it, and name it Hair NURBS. While still selected, apply a hog and follow all my settings. And as you can see, some of the hair doesn't follow the polygon hair correctly. To fix this, select the head mesh and the hair polygon, go to a hog and apply Fix Surfaces. We also need to fix the orientation of the hair flow. As you can see, some of them are in the wrong direction. The blue color should be the root, and the red color should be the tip. To fix this, create a sphere, position it, and this will serve as a guide for our orientation. While the sphere is selected, shift select the hair subs group, go to a hoge, and apply fix surfaces again. Now the orientation is fixed. Delete the sphere we no longer need. Now select a hoge, and follow my settings. Okay, select the Ahoge hair and hide it. And unhide the polygon hair. Let's add some volume to our hair by modifying each individual hair strand. While it selected Go Ahoge and applied rig surfaces, chose Forward Kinematics and clicked Apply. You can test and apply different types of rigs and see which one is best for your needs. To delete it, select the polygon and delete the surface rigs. Okay, now let's go to the polygon here, select one by one and click apply, position it, scale it, do whatever you want. Okay, so let's do this quickly, but slowly, so that you can understand. Select one strand of the polygon hair and apply a hoge. Let's rename this to hair top. Select the hair that you want to be included in this top hair, and then go to a hoge and choose connect. So you know the drill if you want the bangs, for example, to be separated. Select one of the polygon hair for the bangs and add a hoge. So if you want to add them to this newly created Ahoge hair, select all the elements you want to add, then choose Connect.
Okay, let's add some flyaways to our hair. Select your NURBS surfaces and right click, then choose Isoparm. Click on the edge and under curves, choose Duplicate Surfaces Curve. We use this one later. Do it on every single NURBS surface. Once you're done, select all the curves and the head mesh under a hoge, and then choose Nerborpus. On the modified panel, method shape, choose line, and play around all the settings to get what you want. Once it's done, let's do the eyebrow. Select the head to make life over here. Go to the curve, select the CV curve tool, and draw a line that your eyebrows should be. Once you're satisfied with all the curve placements, select all the curves and use the Loft tool in the Surface tab. In the Component mode, position the CV curve points to create and sculpt your eyebrow according to your heart's content. find this issue, the face is facing in the wrong direction, go to the surface and go down to the very end and choose the reverse direction. This will fix the problem. Make some adjustments and mirror to the other side. Apply the Ahoj, play around with all the settings and test the result. Which one is best for what you're looking for? For the eyelashes, do the same thing. Create curves and apply the loft modifier. Then modify until you're satisfied with the look you're aiming for. Apply a hoge and test all the settings. You can copy my settings, but please note that this may not be what you're looking for. So this is how I created the hair. Now let's bring it to Unreal Engine. Let's export first our 
a hoge hair. As you can see here, I create a layer of hair. Okay, let's export from top to bottom. First select the top one under a hoge, then choose the export button and select export alembic. Browse to the location where you want to save your files and name it as you wish. Then press the export button, repeating this process for all hair in your scene. Once you're done, open Unreal Engine. Now, here is Unreal Engine. Create a new folder to just a bit organize. Open it and import all the hair that we exported from Maya. Before you can import the Alembic we exported, make sure you enable the Alembic plugin for Unreal. Okay, let's import it. Right click and navigate to where all the Alembic files you exported from Maya are located. Once they're all imported, let's bind this to our character. To do this, right click again and create a binding. Then choose the head of your character, not the head of the metahuman. Do this to all our hair. Now that the binding is done, open the blueprint of your character in component mode. Ensure the head, I mean the face, is selected, and then click the Add button and select the Groom component. Name it whatever you want and duplicate it until you have a corresponding copy. And place the hair in the respective proper places. Do the same thing to all individual hairs. It's a repetitive task, but that is what it takes. Now, to add color to your hair, we will use the MetaHuman default hair shader. Uh, that is great, but the MetaHuman. Take off your Navigate Your MetaHuman, duplicate the hair shader, and rename it to whatever name you like. To change the color, open the duplicated hair shader and adjust the hair melanin tab and desaturation settings. Experiment with different values to find what works best for you. That's all. I hope this video gives you some tips on how to create your own hair and bring it to Unreal. Please do subscribe and like if you haven't yet. Enjoy the rest of the day. God bless us all.